Hello everyone, welcome back to, more, to some more Third Age Reforged. Guess what, we have a 4v4. I know, right? So, this 4v4 was sent to me by Isengard Mechs. There he is. Alright, and as you can definitely see by the frame count, this is a very fast one. I'm kind of surprised at how short it was when I looked at it. Uh, you know, just shy of 9,000 frames for a 4v4. It's pretty fast. Um, so let's just go over the battle comps. All right. So uh, we have two units of warg riders here. Start. Well, we're starting with Isengard. He has two crossbows. I believe. I'm pretty sure it's going to be four Urukai infantry. Because that's just how Isengard Max does his Isengard armies. He has two pikemen. One trolls of the white hand guards of Orthanc with his general all the way over there. Nazkai. And champions the white hand. Okay, on to his ally, who is hidden. There's lots of hidden stuff. He has some Elder Makar, Elder Enwe, Harukwinga, Imladris Guardians. I hate doing, oh my goodness, army comps on. I believe this is North Athelion. Anyway, so he has many hidden units here Imladris Guardians, Elder Heru, Heru Hatal, Imladris Blade Masters. Hirukwinga and uh, Elder Makar. We have more Elder Makar, Elder Eldar Hetar, two units of them, more Elder Makar, Elder Inwe Heru Hatal, and Ladris Blade Masters, and. Ah, some, this is important. Some Gwaith E. Rokdor, which has his general in it. Good old Elrond. All right, now we'll move on to his ally, who is the Orcs of the Misty Mountains, led by Bud Bloodbath McGrath. He has some Mountain Orc Berserkers, Snow Trolls, Bulg's Champions, Cave Trolls, Heavy Orc, Heavy Goblin Crossbowmen, Heavy Goblin Spears, Heavy Goblin Halberd, more Spears, Heavy Goblin Archers, Black Uruks of the Mountains, Drummer Trolls. Warg skirmishers, warg riders, more trolls, and more black uruks. Oh wow. Nice. And then over here we have Dale, who is led by Baconfish. He has some Lake Town infantry, Barding Herd. Looks like two units of them. Three, sorry, can't count. Blackshot Dragon Slayers, where his general is. Bardian Marksman. And a lot of pikemen and spearmen. Uh Lake Town Pikemen Spearmen. Uh, wait, I saw some marksmen in there. I think. Yeah, Bardian marksmen are right there. Bardian marksmen. So, just a lot. Okay, that's blue team. We'll go to red team. Red team, the first one of red team, is Rohan, led by Paul the Lama. He has a Meadows Hill Guard with Theoden as the general. He has, say, hidden army. Paul's army is hidden. Okay, good. That was fast. Anyway, Harad, led by the Steward of Dale. We have the Serpent Guard. We have Southrond Warband, who are pretty good, you know, for what they are. With Southrond Archers. Looks like two units of them. A hardy phalanx of Serpent Dismounted Serpent Guard and Southrond Pikemen, who are AP Spears. So a nice phalanx of them. We have Muhad Beast Hunters. Who are Javelin Throwers? Trollmen of Harad looks like two units of Trollmen of Harad and one unit of the Champions of Neferat. And then back here we have the Black Serpent Bodyguard, which it looks like it is the general. And then finishing off Steward of Dale is the, another unit of Serpent Guard. And we go over to his ally past the trees that are 2D. We have Captain Treveus, who is not the Dwarves of Erebor. Surprise, surprise. All right, we have some Dunman pikemen, because he is Rudar. We have some Haranadine pikemen. One of the very few pikemen to have shields, which makes them awful to shoot at. Uh, we have some Witch Realm Enslavers, where his general is. All right, Rudar pikemen. Ru uh, or, sorry, Haranadine pikemen from Rudar. More Dunman pikemen. And more hidden units, because Rudar can hide a lot. Anyway, 
final opposing team, we have Clem leading Cardolan. I love Clem. That is just it's just a nice name. He has Green Watch Garrison Archers, uh, Minas Garithlin Archers, and some Green Watch Garrison Spearmen. All right, we have Mercenary War Chiefs. I never use them, but they do have their uses. Do nine captains with the armor, without the armor upgrade. That's what I was going for. Tharbad Warhammers. Gotta love the Plague Doctor. Over here we have Tharbad Riders. One of Cardolan's few, but expensive cav. Minas Garithlin Swordsmen. Minas Garithlin Spearmen. Minas Garithlin Sharpshooters. And I'm not sure where his general is, but it's somewhere around here. Anyway, that's it. Let's begin. Because it's going so fast, I might actually have to slow it down. But, eh, we'll see how it goes. So, there is movement over here. Ah, there is the army. You got Rudar Marksmen, Harnan and I Pikemen, Rudar Swordsmen, and basically just everyone just charging forward from Captain Gervais. Looks like he's going for the rush. Alright, because that is a lot. He has some Rudar Marksmen who actually have a lot of ammo. You can tell by the multiple quivers. Entenmore Troll Hunters, very good javelin unit. Dunman Pikemen, and along with some Rudar Clansmen. So he has a very, very good front line. What is this? Ah, Haranidine Nobles charging into the fray. Going right after the Eldar Makar. Oh, what a good charge. Breaking through the poor little, the, the thin line of Elder Makar. But are now retreating. So far, not a single noble has perished, which is good. And it looks like, oh, terribly sorry, guys. Uh, I'm addicted to Starburst Jelly Beans. That's coming up. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, we got some Troll Shaw Axe Throwers. Who should be ready to throw, and I'm going to really slow it on down here. We're going to go half speed. Just because over here, we got Rohan Riddermark Skirmishers coming around. Trying to get at uh, Dale. And oh my goodness, we got a cab charge from the air raid of Aldberg. Going into these Dalian Marksmen. And Riddermark Cav. Holy cow, holy cow. Riddermark Skirmishers. Sons of Earl. And then there's the rest of his army. There's just so much to cover. Ah. Uh, Alright, looks like both champions are sallying out. A lot of cave trolls. Alright, here's the clash. Alright, actually, let's go 0.7 speed. That way it's not so slow. Alright, Elder Makar are fighting on the troll saw axe slowers, who I'm surprised didn't throw anything. I mean, because that, that's what they're good for. They're good for throwing things. You know, they have axe throwers. That's in the name. They should throw. But I'm sure... Uh, he knows what he's doing. Got some more Berserkers. Ooh, they're also pretty good. Anyway, the Dunman Pikemen are going to cut their way through the Dun the Eldar Makar eventually because of the long reach. But they do... Uh, Rudar Swordsmen are going after him. But the Heru Hatal will definitely last a very long time. Yeah, but these Heru Pikemen are pretty good too. So definitely this... Um, this rush is working out for... Uh, it looks like... It looks like it's working out for Rudar. Got some more Heru Hatal charging in. But now it looks like Inarius, the uh, Enlagis player, is trying to wrap around. Over here we have uh, Enlagis Riders. Oh, I didn't get them. Elder Anime Heru Mario. Right? Heru Myro. Just absolutely. Oh my goodness. Anyway. Over here by Cardolan. Cardolan has charged forward. Militia spears going against elite, uh, very professional soldiers. They will probably die soon. Uh, holy cow, a lot of dead people already. Yeah, definitely quick, making quick work. Holy cow. So yeah, the, the swordsmen are trying to... Uh, sorry, spearmen are trying to go through the infantry, but... It's going to take them a while because they're also backed up by pikes. We'll head over to Bacon Fish and then work our way back. Rid of our cavalry. It's getting ready. But I don't think I can pass up this this ridge right here. So if Bacon Fish. Holy cow, he managed to defense. 
Alright, Ritamark Axeman. Look at all those axes. Ah, projectiles. Oh, there's a tree. Anyway, we have Eowyn Shield Maidens throwing their axes. Um, arrow fire coming in. Uh, Lake Town Pikeman trying to hold back the East Mark Axeman. Dalian Marksman. Lake Town River Patrol. East Mark Spearman. Holy cow. Okay, so Baconfish is trying to hold this line so that no... Oh, but they are behind. The Sons of Earl are behind the lines. Oh, they could really go after those Black Shot Dragon Slayers. Who are trying to get into a position to fire. Baconfish could really use these Lake Town Spearmen to help zone out these uh, Sons of Earl. Oh, man. Javelin fire. Going into the Eowyn Shield Maidens. Alright, over here we have Harad charging into the Orcs of the, of the Misty Mountains. Oh, man. Spears by the Muhad Beast Hunters. Oh, man, those... Wait. Oh, it's going after the Lake Town Pikemen. Oh, good teamwork there. Good teamwork. Oh, a lot of them are just lying dead. Oh, man, look at this. Look at this. I just... There's so much going on. Let's slow it down again. I, I know it's already slow enough, but holy cow. Black Serpent Guard are charging, but they're... Yeah, they're charging into themselves, so it's not really working out. But the Bulk's Champions charge into the charge. So there's just a lot going on. Uh, it looks like Enladris is trying to help, or maybe coming around for a charge. Uh, Bull, uh, yeah, uh, Orcs in the Misty Mountains are trying to help out against Rudar. Uh, it looks like Rudar is cleaning up the infantry of Imladris, except for right here. Actually, right here is Imladris in total control. Actually, Imladris is actually wrapping around. What? Okay. Another my car. Hmm. A lot of dead bodies here. A lot we're missing, but this is just a very so so fast-paced battle. Heru Quinga are firing volley after volley. The Rudar clansmen are caught between wargs and Eldar Makar. Uh, these Dunman pikemen have been forgotten, or they are in trying to zone out the Gwaith, the Rock Door. We'll head over to Isengard, who has mercenary war chiefs and uh, the sharpshooters in melee. Not these sharpshooters, they're trying to get at the champions of the White Hand, who are only down to 12. Dunedain Rangers, didn't see them earlier. Oh man, Dunedain Captain's only down to 6. Oh, that's where his general is. There he is. Sharpshooters are turning around. Yeah, it looks like Isengard won this engagement fairly well. I'm going to call it uh, Isengard won this side. Um, so the action is pretty dead now, so we'll head over to the main. 3v3. Um, Trollman of Harad and Southrun Warband are trying to push through the Black Oaks of the Mountains who have been rear charged by the Black Serpent Bodyguard. Oh. Um, we have the Troll Drummers staying close, trying to keep them inspired. Looks like Harad's losing momentum, losing troops. Uh, Muhad Beast Hunter, Beast Tamers, Beast Hunters, sorry. Uh, they are trying to throw, but I'm guessing they don't have good line of sight. Ritamark Skirmishers trying to come in for the side rear charge against the Black Uruks and the, uh, the Lake Town Pikemen. Trying to help out again with the Beast Hunters, who really need it. Oh my. Rohan is struggling. Yeah, Rohan doesn't really have... Their their infantry isn't too good against pikes. Dalian Rolo Guard has been committed to fight against the Metasol Guard. Axemen are actually winning on this side. They're kind of wrapping around. Man. Hey, when Shield Maidens are trying to go after the heavily go Heavy Goblin Archers. We'll see them throw their axes. Ooh, look at that. We'll follow them. Looks like a lot of them are missing, but, oh well. Ritter Mark Axman, Barding Herd. 
Blackshot Dragon Slayers are still alive. Looks like they're going after the Airway of Aldberg. Paul Lama still has plenty of cav left. But it's being chased by the War Skirmishers and Bold's Champions. Yeah, Rudemark Skirmishers are going to engage with Spears. River Patrol going into melee. Over here, Black Wooks of the Mountains. Looks like the uh, Elder Anyway, Heru Myro, are trying to get through. But they're going through Pikemen, so it's not going to be easy. Uh, Black Serpent Bodyguards are trying to do rear charges where they can, but the Snow Trolls are coming in. Yeah, uh, Harad better be very careful. They're going to lose their general. They might lose their general. Come on, get out. Get out. You need this. Alright, so it looks like his general is going to get away for now. Wait. Got the Gwaithi rock door. They may come in and help finish off um, the Harad, Harad in general, because if that happens, well, then the rest of Harad will, will break. I mean, and there's not much left. There's this group and this group. There is not much left. Looks like Isengard is, has completely been victorious over here with against Cardolan. Well, there are some Warhammers still holding on. And some Swordsmen holding on. But it's not going to be too much. He is sending over troops to assist. Got some Rudar Marksman left. Yeah, alright, back to Imladris. Uh... Yeah, and Landris is pinning, is surrounding the Haranidine pikemen. Now we got some uh, trolls of the white hand, Eldar Hatar, um, and Landris blade masters as well, who are yeah just crushing this Dunman rush. Guards of Orthanc getting into the archers' faces, denying them any possible chance of you know volleys, unless of course they're in guard mode, then they can keep firing. Alright, looks like the Gwaithi Rock Door are trying to help out. Eowyn Shield Maidens are broken, it looks like. Yep. Unit of 65. It's a pretty large unit. Just a break. But they are all alone in the enemy back lines. So yeah, morale debuff. Lake Town Pikemen, 86 of them are routing. Barding Herd are getting surrounded by the Metal Soul Guard and Eowyn Shield Maidens. Oh. The Alien Royal Guard are almost dead. Only three left. Holy cow, guys. This is this battle is just so fast. Alright, Lake Town Pikemen routing the Eastmark Axemen. Yeah, Bardian Marksmen. Dalian Marksmen. And Blackshot Dragon Slayers are just because I mean it's a double-edged sword. You're winning the military, uh, the infantry engagement, but that means that there's less um, of you know uh, Dale's infantry, which gives these guys better line of sight, which then you know allows them just to pepper them down. We do have some Rittermark archers who are trying to fire back, but it there's just too many. Yeah, it's just total chaos, guys. Total absolute chaos. Rudimark Cavalry are routing because they tried to help their South One uh, Haradrim allies who are making some progress against the Black Rooks of the Mountains, but the Gwaithi Rokdor are here. Mountain Orc, there's a few Mountain Orc Berserkers, and those guys are kind of glitched. I don't think anyone dies like that or, or stays like that dead, but then again, I could be wrong. Bulg's champions running around. Now it looks like Rudar is only left to its marksmen who are dying, and uh, Witch Realm enslavers, and a couple of swordsmen. Well, yep, Nazkai are coming in the back. They're gonna completely envelop them, and it should not be too long between the Nazkai and the Heruquinga, who are very good in melee. Um, yeah, they're just gonna get surrounded. It's not gonna be good for them. Yeah, Heavy Goblin Halberd are going after the Southrun Archers. Alright, 
Looks like some Muhad Beast Monsters have returned from routing. Southron archers are trying to fire. They are in guard mode because they're not all fighting the trolls. No, nope, wait, nope, their swords are coming out. They are not in guard mode. Heavy goblin spears are trying to get into their faces. And over here we have Dale guarding. Okay, so it looks like a lot of bacon is trying to make sure that there is no rear charges. I don't know why, I mean you're perfectly fine. Maybe he just forgot about them. Metal Sword Guard are trying to throw their javelins, but they're getting shot. Probably won't be able to. Just because of all the arrow fire coming on in. Barding herd. Doing what they can. Oh, routing. River patrol and the and the spearmen and the pikemen are all getting getting in the face of the Riddermark archers. It is spilling doom. Yeah, holy cow, that was I feel like a solid like a rush tactic by all of the all of the red team. They tried going for the swift swift win and what they got was a swift loss we can probably speed it up just a little bit more because well we if we look at it it's 89 to 66 so I mean we have just over a thousand frames left so most of the I mean Cardolan's all gone I don't see any Cardolan units left uh, Rudar is almost gone and they are surrounded. I mean, what did I tell you? They were completely surrounded, and that just spells doom. I mean, Haru Hutal and Nazkai, they're a deadly combination. What a meat grinder. Org Riders and Gwaithi Rockdor riding down the last of the um, marksmen. So it just looks like um, cleaning up the last little bits of Rohan and Harad. Oh yeah. Oh goodness gracious. And here, like, when uh, <laughs> when Isengard Max sent this in, he's like, "Yeah, this is the best one ever." And like, I was expecting it to be like super close or anything, or or something, you know, completely close, completely, you know, drawn out, long, epic, you know, uh, you know, just grueling bloodbath, like just grind of of death but no this was super short and I love it I love how just absolutely great this was this was this is great <laughs> I'm not lying guys the fact that all of you know it looks like all team like um, the red team went for a total rush strategy you know rush against everyone but I mean they it was close I thought him was was gonna die for for a while and that could have been a potential game changer but these Aowen Shield Maidens are fighting their best against the... <clears throat> sorry, guys. Against the Pikemen. Oh man. They're they're not going to win. Pikes have longer reach. Got the Troll Drummers just drumming away. Looks like uh, Black Uruks of the Mountains are trying to head over here. Help clean up the... Oh, no. No, they're all done. And it looks like the players are admitting defeat. Yeah, 95 to 68. That was... That was super fast. That was super fast. Wow, I love it. All right, so thank you guys for watching, and Bill, thank you guys in Guard Mex for playing, uh, for sending it in. What am I saying? Well, thank you for playing, and thank you for sending it in. All right, so the most kills does go to Inarius, who has 1862, and then closely followed behind by uh, Isengard Mex with 1639. And then closely followed by Baconfish with 1566. Then Paul the Llama with 1539. All right, let's go to the battle statistics. Casualties inflicted, 100 for the Guards of Orthanc, 103 for the Crossbows, 150 for the Infantry, 166, 213, 198, all for the Infantry. Champions of the White Hand doing most of the heavy lifting with 242 and Warg Riders at 164. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to send me a replay, just do so. And the way to do so is in the description. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. See you later.